in today's video, we're taking these items and more and making fun, useful, and beautiful paper clips. This is for the Christmas in July here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to the second day of Christmas here on the Dear Julie Julie channel 2021. And so I have gone ahead and I have sewn my Think Alike cards onto the um to the onto a paper and we started this in day one our napkin using napkins and i had attached the little sweaters onto the think alike cards and then we put them onto the paper and had them ready to be sewn on and so because they are a card um, one of the things that cards uh, are hard to glue to things <laughs> so I went ahead and sewed them onto a paper now I can go ahead and I will be able to glue these to something if I want to or I can use them just like this, um, possibly decorate it for journaling cards. So just getting them ready over here and cutting off the extra strings. Making sure that they're sort of straight. <laughs> Okay, so we'll have four of these and we still have that paper left. Okay, so we have four of these. So today I thought we would go ahead and we would make some paper clips using the items that we've already started with and move on from there. So starting with one of the think alike cards, remember I um, put the napkins down with the Tombow Mono liquid glue. And so you kind of have like a snowy effect where the glue um, wasn't on it as much. Um, I am going to use a butterfly clasp and we're going to make a large paper clip. Um, to start with, okay? And I am going to want a cardstock back. You could use um, any type of cardstock back that you have hanging around. It's, you know, it just gets hard. You've got, <laughs> got all these pieces and it's like, oh no, but I could use that for that. Oh no, but I could use that for that. Oh no, but I could use that for that. Okay, so I have the back of this birthday card here. And so that is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know what? We'll just turn this over on here. Okay, I'm going to be using the fabric tack because it dries quickly. And so I'm going to take the paper clip and put it down and I want the long side like like that okay and then I want to make sure that this is going to fit underneath this part okay so I might have to to move it a little so that it's going to be under all the edges okay so I'm going to save this card we did see an eagle on our trip so I might be able to use that card when I document our vacation. We saw one eagle. And I got a picture of it. Not the greatest picture, but I did get a picture of it. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put my glue. Now we're gluing paper to paper because I added paper to the back of this. Okay. 
Oh, let's let's make sure that we put it right side up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that we're getting all the places and it's Okay, and then we can go ahead and cut this off. If you wanted this to be a little bigger, you could cut this a little bigger. I want it to just be the same size. Okay, okay so we've used one of the game cards here. And we have a fun large paper clip. Okay, now um, depending on what your you know what your theme is or whatever, you could go ahead and distress these. Um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to be distressing, so I'm going to save that till I figure <laughs> figure that out. So I do want to add a little bit more on here. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the think of alike just by adding some of the Dollar Tree washi tape, or it's not washi tape, it's paper tape across. Okay, and then I have my little package of goodies that we put out this time. And so I have this little Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna go ahead and See if we can, it's gonna have to be bigger. The hole, the hole is going to have to definitely be bigger. Let's try. There it is. Okay. Push pin is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna just try and make the hole, the hole a little bigger. Okay, I have Baker's Twine on the, yeah, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it through, pull it through the top of the tree. Now, these are the items that I'm using. The um, Emerald Patreons got in their July, um, July kits. And so they got these sequins. They got the napkin with the, with the tree, or with the tree, with the sweater. Okay. Okay. And you know what? I think we'll just, we'll go with two trees. So on this tree, I'm going to go through the top first. I forgot to make the hole bigger and it did, it did make a difference. Okay. The bigger hole did make a difference. So don't be afraid to make things, <laughs> make things easier for yourself by making the hole a little bigger. Okay. So this time first, the first one we went through the bottom first and this one we're going through the top of the tree first. Okay, I tied a little knot. I'm gonna do that again. Tie a little knot here at the, the bottom. That'll just keep the sequin from falling off. It also kind of looks kind of cool. You could add beads or bells or, or any of those fun things. I'm just gonna add these two little trees, just like this, and they will pop over and hang across the front, okay? They can hang off the top, but I think I want them, I kind of want them to hang across the, the front of my, my little thing here. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, as far as, let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to put that on there this time. Okay. Okay, so the other thing I did pick up on vacation 
was at the Dollar Tree, I got some bling. Um, I don't have it in here with me. So let me just see if I have. I have some of the Michaels, the Michaels bling. But I picked up some Dollar Tree bling that we'll be using. And, um, but I need to still impact that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add this dot, dot, dot right here. I love this stuff. This is from Michaels. It's a faceted bling. So there's not actually a bling in there. So there's nothing to come out and get lost or, you know, go away. But here we have a, a really strong paper clip that we're going to be able to put on a page and, um, and it will hold something large as well. Okay. So using the butterfly, the butterfly clasp. Okay. And so next let's go to a small paper or yeah, small paper clip. So we have our tickets and one of the easiest paper clips to do is the, you know, folding your paper clip. We're going to want it to be in this direction. I want the ticket to show and I'm going to go ahead and, um, Put this put the long side in the on the back and the smaller side in the middle go ahead and glue this down i'm going to use the, the fabric tack again because it dries really quickly um, it also it just does a really good job on these and i'm also on this one i'm just going to go around the edge get that all ready to close and there you go you can use a hot glue gun. Um, I don't do that anymore because I got burnt really good or really bad. <laughs> and so my choice is to not, not use the hot glue gun anymore. Okay. So there is, there's that. Okay. So, um, one of the fun things you can do is you can go ahead and go around your your ticket and um, and so okay so you can make little a little guide and you can either I mean, you can sew it however you want to. Um, you can even cut the ticket to look like a ticket if you wanted to. Um, anyway, you can go around. Okay. So you can thread it, you know, like a regular sewing where you would. Just go in and out like that, or you can go ahead and go around the outside. There, <laughs> was missing, missing the hole. Okay. Okay, so we're doing this Christmas in July right now using items that you can probably um, find. Now, the Christmas napkin with that I used, um, you know, you might not be able to find Christmas napkins. But at like Marshalls and Home Goods and places like that, you might be able to find them. I do have a set of Christmas napkins in the Etsy shop if you are and I'm home now so um, I can send those right out to you okay so you can go ahead and sew around the edge you can do this on anything you can do this on a tag if you wanted to um, all kinds of fun fun things okay so just to give you an idea and it feels really really cool Okay, so you could go all the way around that. Um, we did start a ticket 
that ha that has um, the sweater on it. So we can go ahead and let's see, we're going to need a paper clip. Here we go. So if we put this down on this side. And then we'll go ahead and again, we'll add our fabric tack sometime today. Because I forgot to put it back in its spot upside down so that it'd be ready to do that I have to put the lid on it okay and go ahead and put this half of a sweater on here Okay, I think for this one, it might be kind of fun to put your dots on those three places that the scarf hangs down. So there's one. And then on that, the other one, you can put them on Okay, so we sparkled it up. With this and then since it is a Christmas item you know me I would probably go ahead and sparkle it with some fingernail polish also okay so this is the number 544 from Dollar Tree I use this all the time okay just gives a fun glitter glitter effect to our little scarf right there you could use the silver I um I usually use the gold okay so we have our little that down there and um okay so here in my bag of tricks I have a little teddy bear eyelet. Okay, and the, the patrons got three of these in their in their little bag. Okay, and I'm going to put it on the crocodile for this one, and I'm going to turn it into a little charm. Okay, so there. Now it's going to be a little charm, and come over. I did, I put it through the hole and I put it around its neck like it's a scarf. Okay. Okay. So there he is, one little, one little guy. It's still drying, so we're going to let it continue to dry. I think we can shorten, shorten the scarf. Okay. So, um, and then you can decide if you want to have, do you want, you know, two, two bears? Um, the other thing that we have is some peppermint beads, or these are actually straw pieces. And I was thinking a jingle bell on the end of this, but I don't, I don't see, they're not out, they're not out in my craft room yet. Let's see what we've got here. We have just a gold bead. I'm checking here. 
just a fancy gold bead, okay? So, and I can get through that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this. A few times. So I'm gonna tie it like three times. And I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. I'm going to add some of my glue to this. Okay. And then let this peppermint bead fall down. Okay. So this is what I'll have. I'll have a peppermint bead with the gold bead. And then I'll have my little bear on the other side. I actually think I want to have them on this one that comes off the side. Okay, so I will keep going around this one. Okay, but those will be able to come off the side of the journal. And um, so we'll, we'll keep, keep going around with that. This one, um, we can use like lace if you have lace that you're using. So I have this, this piece of lace and I have, I have some other things out. These were still out from the, the watermelon and berry journals. So I think I can use this lace in here also. And I actually think, oh, wow, oh, interesting. I have a... Okay. I have a place where there's none of the lace. <laughs> none of the lace is in the lace. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut me a piece. And the cool thing is, it's like you could make your tickets, ticket um, paper clips ahead of time and have them ready for, for decorating. Okay, so there's, there's that. And you know what? There was this. I think, I think this would be fun on here. If I can find an end. Okay, we can just go ahead and pull this up underneath all the way up to the top. Okay, and that's what we'll have on this one. Okay, really, really simple. I need to fill up my, my paper clips. Okay, so another thing that you can do. Where'd that piece? Okay, so you can take pieces of fabric. For a quicker, quick, quick, um, put your loop through your paper clip, pull the other two pieces through, and pull it all through. Okay. I want that to come up a little more because otherwise you lose out on paper clip that you can use. Okay, so there is a fabric, just really simple fabric paper clip. Okay, so let's go ahead and
Okay, so you want your, where it's doubled, you've got the two pieces, so you're gonna use the top of the paper clip, or what I consider the top is this piece up here. So we're gonna go ahead and again, pull a loop through. Okay, so just barely have a loop going through and then feed the other two pieces through the loop. Okay, and there you've got another one. Really, really simple. And then you also can use this same way. Loop, open the loop, put the two pieces through the loop. Okay, and the, any of these we can add more to them if we wanted to. Okay, so put these back so they're out of the way. Okay, um, and we can go ahead and do another one and have that somewhere else in in the project. Okay, we can continue to go ahead and go around this. And then for this one, I do have, I have some wooden stars. So I could go ahead and cover the word ticket. I like the numbers, you know. Okay, so. There's that, then add this. And that could have gone in the 4th of July stuff. This little package was made to either be for Christmas um, or 4th of July. It did have a lot of green in it though. And then I can add something. Okay. So remember this one has the little bear hanging down. It has the peppermint. This I will probably go ahead and attach to the other end. Once we get there, let's go ahead and I'll fast forward and we'll, we'll go through that. Okay, so this is what I have. I did tie off the ends. Um, I love the way this feels. So yeah, so going around and stitching um, around the outside of the ticket. And I think that's really fun. I think it needs some green in here somehow, some way. So let's try maybe, maybe some of this, see if that helps. Yeah, that, that helps. That helps a little bit. Okay. So there's that. Okay, and that will that will be able to hang off the edge. We've used our peppermint straw bead and our one of our little bare eyelets there. Okay, but here I think we're gonna go ahead. Not I think we are going to make a hidden paper clip this time. Okay, so go ahead and clean up the edge of this. Now for this, you can use any cardstock. I'm going to use a file folder. Um, let's go ahead and move our little guys up here. And we have our, um, okay. So we're going to use a file folder and okay. So this time, we are gonna want something for the front and something for the back 
and also um, the pieces for the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I've, I've got some ideas for this. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this where it's on the fold. Okay. That's just how I'm, and I'm going to cut it to fit. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this time we're gonna put our paper clip on the inside, okay? So this is, this is our, in, gonna be the inside of the paper clip. This is what we're gonna be um, flipping over. We're gonna go ahead and add this to one side, okay? And remember, it's okay to make things, very, you know, alike or very similar. Um, that's one of the things that helps with time is if you make like, like we have these four think alike cards that we've done. And if we decorate them similar with the washi tape and bling, then our thinking part is already taken care of. Okay, so we're good on this side. This side we might wanna hold down. Okay. File folder is a great, if you have them, I have lots of them. I especially have lots of pink ones. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm gonna to attach to this side. Now I can just go ahead and attach one of these to the other side as well but I think I want something different on the other side. So let's look through the items from, from the other day. Okay, we're still making sure that this stays down because if it jumps up, <laughs> breaks apart, whatever, especially on one of these, that's not good, okay? Okay, I think we're good. We put this on here. I think we, we would need to go in this direction. Put this down at the bottom like that. Okay. Fabric tackle is not something I could get on vacation and bring home. It's like not enough room to worry about a, a bottle of something. Okay, so I decided I wanted that facing down. Okay. We'll just hold it down. Okay, especially want the bottom and the bottom side to Do you see that separation? That's where it will go over our page, okay? So I'll have that separation and it'll just go over the page that you'll have decoration on both sides. So that is, that is awesome, okay? I really like this, like that, okay. So let's come to this side and again, we'll decorate this very simply. copying what we did before and okay so we did that we did that Okay, 
So on this, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to have to do this because your um, flap goes all the way across. So you might want to So what I'm going to do here is put that piece of, oh, let's, and I'm just cutting down ruffle. Okay. It gives you a longer piece and a totally different, different look. I like the green. I want a little bit of the green, I think, in there. So we are, let's get our needle off here. Okay. And we're going to take this and we're going to sew it or sew it. We're going to, yeah, we're going to tie it on here. Okay. And this will be up at the top. And then these can hang down and we'll, you know what? I think we'll have them hang down on this side. Okay. Okay. So this is our over the page um, hidden paper clip. It's a large one. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. The only time you'll see that is when you're actually using it, right? Okay. And, and then I can go back to good old This heart is a little bit bigger, but because it's on white paper, the lines go over to the edge and it works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to just add a little bit of glue to the paper side of this. And washi tape doesn't, or even paper tape doesn't always stick to paper tape, but paper to paper does pretty good, so... There's that one. We'll go ahead and tie a knot at the bottom of this one. I forgot to tie a knot at the bottom of the other one, but that's okay. Okay. And I could have tied or cut that green piece of lace in half even so that it Okay, so just like you would attach these for um, signature ties, go ahead and tie them on here. And that gives you that little bit of fun there. And so let's go ahead and see what we think here. I think I want to pull the screen through a little if I can. Or I 
I really like it from that side. Okay. Okay. So let's clear off the table and we'll check out what we've got. And this is what we have. We have our large paper clip with the butterfly clasp. Um, using a game piece card, some washi tape, a napkin, and the bling. Then some baker's twine through the sequins with knots, and we have a large paper clip. Next, we have our little paper clip that we used the ticket, and we went ahead, we used the washi tape, the bling, and the wooden star sticker and on the outside we use the little bear eyelet the peppermint straw and the bead and that comes off the edge as well as the scrap from the green ribbon okay next we have our really simple lace fabric scrap lace scrap um, paper clips. So really super easy and they turn out really cute. Next we have our half of a ticket with the napkin. We added some bling and we added the gold fingernail polish and up at the top we added some of the little pom-pom trim and the green lace. I love this one. So that gives us that little one and then we have our other large paper clip and this is a hidden paper clip and so this one will go over the page and hold everything and so just like this one we use the washi tape the bling the napkin sewed it onto the paper in between between here we have from a file folder, we cut it on the fold, added the paper clip to the outside, and then glued one of the pieces from Napkin Day, this label, onto this side and that onto the other side. And that gives us a paper clip, and you don't see the back of the paper clip. Okay, so both very similar but you don't see the back of the paper clip. And if we flop these over, you see you've got the same idea for both of those. But I really like these on this side with, with this. Okay, so which one's your favorite? And have you tried all of these types of paper clips? And is there something here that you're going to go ahead and try? I had forgotten about this. I think I might do this. It feels really amazing. If you are a person that um, tactile and loves the way things, you know, when, the, when there's um, different textures and that, this would be a great, great addition. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. We'll be doing day three of the 12 days of Christmas. And I'll have more instructions tomorrow on what we're doing. So I'm really glad to be back and excited to move forward. If you are still working on your July countdown to the finish junk journal, we want to cheer you on to the finish and I'm looking forward to seeing more finished journals in the July Countdown to the Finish Challenge. And so if you're interested in checking that out, the details video for that challenge is in the description box down below. We do do a challenge here each month on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And it includes uh, prizes for those that finish and it's a lot of fun. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.